What's going on, everybody? Dogman Dan here. This is going to be an interesting topic to chat about. Uh, I've done this before, and I actually called a, a particular Warframe partner out, and he doesn't like when he's called out. Um, and he is one of many problems with within the partner system, and I kind of explain how this works. Um, so we've talked about in the past Warframe partners that have glyphs that are selling glyphs that were exclusively selling glyphs this kind of issue was supposed to be addressed letters were put out there glyphs are to be free um, whether you do them as a giveaway or other things you can of course give them as a, a you know a an item for somebody that you know follows you or supports you in a financial sense but otherwise they must also be given away for free they cannot be locked behind a paywall if you will okay we talked about this, and at the time that I talked about it, I had one or two that I knew that were actually doing it. Um, since then, there's been many more that have popped up into this elitist category that think that they're above everybody else and they're so special. Um, so, while I'm not going to go ahead and give you all the full details on everything that's going on, uh, in terms of reading out comments and... and uh, you know, naming names in this particular video that we're talking about. You're just going to enjoy some some fun in the background here. A little couple of different Axie missions, capture missions, um, just random meet up with a couple people, all that good stuff, right? Um, what we're going to do is kind of address some of the stuff that's going on. And this has become bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, as a original Warframe partner as one of the first seven Warframe partners. I would say the first generation of Warframe partners. Okay, I think that that group of people hold themselves to a different standard than the people that come in now. The people that come in now think that they deserve everything that's given to them and that they're better than everybody else. And I just don't get it. So we see problems where we still have partners. And there's a good number of them. And this mostly streamers. Twitch streamers. That are outright selling their glyphs. Forcing you to become a member. And follow them for a certain amount of time. certain amount of hours. Um... Forcing you to pay into being a community member before you're eligible uh, for a glyph, um, you know, or getting rid of giveaways in their Twitch or Discord uh, chats because people are botting for the glyphs. They're creating alternate accounts, supposedly, just to be eligible to try to get a glyph. And this is an issue because one, we talked about this before, and like I said, you know, it was addressed directly um, that glyphs are to be free, and they are not allowed to be exclusively locked behind a paywall. Exclusively, which means you have to have some kind of giveaway. You have to, at some point, have different ways that people that are not part of your specific community are not paying people are able to get a hold of your glyph. I'm able to get a hold of any partner's glyph that I want. All I have to do is simply make a, a an email and ask for a specific glyph if I want to. But that's not something that I'm going to do because it's just not who I am. The people that have given me glyphs, the partners that have given me glyphs, I'm grateful and gracious that you have given me glyphs, that you've taken a few minutes to send me a glyph, and, and it's you know much appreciated. Um, these other people, I don't want their glyphs. I don't think that they're worth it. They're, they're elitist. They're not... They're not with the right mentality. They don't have the, the... This is something that is an opportunity for me as a partner to be able to interact with all these players in the game. And I'm going to go ahead and make it that you have to follow me. You have to pay me. You have to watch my content for so many thousands of hours before you're eligible for one of these free glyphs. Yeah. No. No. That's not the attitude of this. This is not how the program is designed. These glyphs are a great incentive, you know, as becoming a Warframe partner, right? 
uh, they're also a great way to interact with the community. And some people do it in all different ways. Um, I know that, like, uh, Tactical Potato, he gives them away on his Discord. He's got a bot set up for it that it gives away randomly on his Discord, but they're always free. And I know because he left a comment about that and, and the prior one that I talked about. And then a couple other people do that as well. Um, I give away just because when you talk to me, you come up to me, you talk to me. You find me in game, you find me on the Warframe forums, you find me on Steam, you find me on Facebook, you find me on Twitter. You find me, you ask me, I give them away. And listen, these guys that are selling them or they, they think they're so special that you have to pay for them or you have to be a part of their community for so long before you deserve them, that makes no sense. That's not the point of this. These items are going to be limited no matter what. Even if I'm only giving out, you know, two, three, four thousand of these in the game, right? Compared to the millions of players that are registered users or players of the game, that's a pretty limited item. You are allowed to collect those items. I'm not going to stop you from contacting me to collect a glyph, a free item, because I know that one, you found me somehow. A lot of times you're going to watch some of my content. You're going to, you know, uh, then you're going to ask me. Um, what I enjoy for me personally, the way that I give them away, and I give them away to everybody, you know, is that every single person I have directly interacted with. Not everybody has time for that. I get it. But that's something that I strive for and I always have strived for on my channel uh, and in general within the community is being interactive and available to everybody. I have some great conversations with people. I have never had anyone create alternate accounts to bot a glyph from me to be able to get a glyph from a giveaway or to be in the sense that they are going to have to... Um, supposedly get your your glyph code and then resell it yeah okay prove that shit right this is the other thing that these bigger these other partners who think that they're so gracious the great or whatever you want to call them elitist um, are doing they're saying well people are botting they're getting the codes and then they're reselling them well guess what buddy if you didn't sell them in the first place they wouldn't find a way to resell them why have I never had a problem with it why have so many partners who follow the rules correctly, who do giveaways, who find ways to interact with people, not have problems with botters? However, people that sell them and limit them have problems with people botting or supposedly trying to resell them when they get them. Your shit's no better than anyone else's. It's just a glyph in a game. It is awesome to be able to have something that I can say is part of this game. It is awesome on the other end to have people contact me and interact with me. We have five, ten minute conversations. Sometimes we have long, hour long conversations. Sometimes I have great play sessions with a group of people and we go for a while. And this is what that is meant for. This is meant for you to be able to interact with other people and to be able to potentially gain more subscribers and more support from other people that wouldn't have originally known about you. And they're going to showcase your glyph when they're playing in the game, and they're going to talk about you to their friends, and other people are going to ask about you, and so forth and so on. That's the whole point of expanding it, correct? Now, if this person goes and tries to get a glyph from you, and they have a hard time getting this glyph because you want to be an ass about it, they're not going to support you down the road. They're going to say, nah, this guy, he, no, he ain't worth it. He ain't worth the time. Good luck. Don't spend your time on him. Go to these guys. These guys will give you a glyph code, no problem. Collect them, showcase them, do what you want with them, because they are unique. They are special. There's only, what, roughly 100, 100 and some odd partners in the game. Not everybody has glyphs available yet, but they will. And that is something that's limiting no matter how you look at it. It's special no matter how you look at it. Even if I gave one to every single player in this game, it's still special because it came from me. And for me, I will have interacted with every single person along the way. 
And that's the whole point of the system, is to interact, is to make friends, is to make people feel like they are part of a community. Not to be a complete ass about it and say, my stuff is special, I'm better than you, you don't deserve it unless you follow me, and you pay me, and you give me, you gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme, and then maybe I'll let you have something that was offered to me for free for a small payment. I, I don't get it. I just don't get it. And if you look along Twitter, you're going to find these partners out there. And you're going to find the small guys who are going to go, well, I'm trying to make it. I'm trying to make a name for myself. Well, then limiting that ability to make a name for yourself is not going to make a name for yourself. It just makes you look like an ass. Then you've got some very large people or well-known people in the community that are doing the same thing. And now you've got some that are out there that have written on Reddit even that say, this is how it's going to work. You're going to be part of my community, my personal community. You're going to be part of that personal community for a certain amount of time. I've got trackers on you so I know how long you've been following me or how often you've been watching my content or you've been on my streams. And until I determine how long that process is, you will not be eligible for a free glyph. Come on. Uh, like I said, the first generation, second generation of Warframe partners, we have a different attitude towards the program, towards the system. I don't agree with everything that everybody says or does, right? And I'm not supposed to. That's just not the way it is. We all have different methods and thoughts and the way we interact and do things. But it just seems to me that now we're into the later generations of this and they just don't care. It's just a, let me get in there, let me get this stuff, and then I have a way to produce extra money from something that is given to me exclusively for free and told that it needs to be given away for free. It just, your attitude towards being such an elitist in a video game. It's just not how you go and grow. It's just not how you do it. Sure, I am not 100,000 subscribers. I'm not 200,000 subscribers. And quite frankly, I probably won't ever be because I am different. I add a whole bunch of my personal self to every single video that I do. You all know that by now. And that sticks out, that stops people from wanting to listen. I talk an extra few minutes. I always talk a little bit about my day. I always talk a little bit about my family. I'll talk about I'm traveling or I'm doing this. I'm doing I am a personal type of person and that type of interaction is what allows me to have a strong base of support. Maybe not the biggest base of support, but a strong base of support. People come and go. It happens. Got it. But I'm your regular average dude, and that's all I want to be. I would love to be this big shot dude on YouTube, make a whole bunch of money, you know, all that stuff. But that's not the reality here. Not for me, because if I do what everybody else does, and I take my personality out of it, then what am I? I'm just a robot? I guess? I don't know. But please, if you're still listening and you want to, please do share your thoughts below about this. I don't get it. I'm distraught. I'm just, I'm just confused about the attitude of some partners. And I know people are out there trying to get these people removed from the partner program. Just regular community members. And there's a lot of things that go on in that. And you know what? I get it. I I definitely get it. You as a regular community member, if you feel that a partner is not earning their partnership, I believe that you have 100% the right to do what you're doing. To call them out. To say something about it. Speak about it. Send it to DE. Let them know your thoughts. I mean, this is these are the types of things that can make and break a game. A franchise, even, if you will, at this point. Um, 
But please do feel free to share your thoughts. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys soon.